Welcome to Gaming On on this lovely Labor Day weekend. It is the unofficial end of the summer. So this Monday night we are going to play Shadow Man. Let's get into it. Hope everyone had a lovely, lovely uh, Labor Day weekend. Before I start the game, my my uh, highlight of the weekend was hands down on Sunday. A good friend of mine, Ryan and I, we went to. I can't think of the name of the place. It's in New York. It's an adventure place for. He likes to do adventurous things, and I like adventurous things too. But the things that he likes to get into is what you call like extreme sport type things, and drags me into it. So it's funny that he took me to this place in New York, and and he ended up being the one more nervous, and I didn't show any signs of nervousness, being a hundred feet up in the air, walking across a tight line or a tight wire and below there's rocks and Russian water so that in itself was a rush um, in the fall um, you'll see some of that footage because I am saving that footage for a music video and obviously I can't work on the music video now or I could work on it but I can't release it until the fall ab album drops which is I don't have the dates in front of me, but I think it drops October something. Maybe, I don't know. In October it drops. So anyway, I'm hoping the footage is amazing. And uh, so that was the highlight. And then today we went to a, a steakhouse. I can't think of the exact name of it. And it's probably better that I can't remember the name of it. It's in the Boston area. And basically, the dinner was insane. The prices were like, well, first of all, he they advertised forty five dollars for dinners, and I think twenty five for lunch, so twenty three for lunch. That's what it says when he called them on the phone. So, after speaking to them on the phone or hearing the message on the phone, the phone said forty five dollars for dinner. Well, no, they didn't charge us $49 for dinner. They charged us $70. And not only that, they kept bringing appetizers to the table, not telling us that we're being charged for these appetizers. So I thought it was kind of messed up. Would I recommend the place? I would say it's overpriced. The food was good, but it's overpriced. That is my recommend that is my take on I'm not gonna even give the name of the restaurant it doesn't matter so that's pretty much it my body's beat up I mean when we did that adventurous stuff it was not just walking across lines in the uh, sky there but we had to do some rock climbing as well it was something it was fun it was definitely fun I'm very forward looking forward to shooting for creating the music video before that but I'm hoping that the leaves change color because it is a fall album and I'd like the music video to have some fall color in it. So, yeah. Shout out to J-R-E-L-L. Fantastic weekend. And he kept playing. If you guys aren't following me on my Snapchat, you are missing out because I be Snapchatting everything that I be doing. So if you want to know what I'm up to, most times you can check in there and it's P-Bomb Show. That's all I got. Happy Labor Day, everyone. Now let's get into Shadow Man, shall we? New adventure. Love this song.
I took them all to my heart. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Kathy Meadows, Mary Kelly. I loved them, truly loved them all. But the immortal power I sought within the sordid confines of their bodies, the still beating organ of the soul, was not to be found. The ritual of the knife was to no avail. I am bereft and must therefore perform that bloody ritual upon myself. Stay your hand, Jack, and listen to what I have to say. How did you find this place? Who are you? My name is Legion, for we are many. The immortal power that you seek does exist. It does indeed lie within the soul, but only within certain ones. Certain dark souls. My God, what are you that you can produce such things from thin air? Merely an explorer, much like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. Then I would have you build a cathedral to pain. A place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals that will follow you as the time of Armageddon approaches. And at the heart of asylum, we shall construct a great dark engine powered by souls of equal hue. And we shall harness their power to create an immortal army to punish and cleanse this pathetic world. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil, in the darkness, amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond, in the place known as Deadside. Then, if I am to join you, I must die. It is prophecy. We cannot fail. For we are many. Amen to that. What's the problem, Magneta? I had a dream, Charoman. A real bad dream. A dead side dream. The five are here. The herald of the apocalypse. He conspires and burns everything I fear. The end's coming, Charoman. An ancient prophecy tells of the return of a great evil to dead side. A terrible force gathering dark souls to its darker heart and using their power to cross over into this world and bring about I must stop this evil from bringing about the end of all things. Only you can do it, Shadow Man. You are the walker between the worlds. I can't go dead side, and jaunt is next to useless in both worlds. You are the only one who can do anything about it. As it ever was. But you ain't never confronted anything like this evil. It's so few, not even the ancient protectors of the Dark Souls could destroy it. They could only banish it from dead side. Who knew it would come back one day? Hence the prophecy telling of its return. The power of the ancients is all but gone now, and the dark souls that evil desires lie unprotected. What you gotta do, Shadow Man, is to go dead side and recover the dark souls. Take them into your own protection before evil gathers them to its terrible heart. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I don't recover these dark souls, then the world's gonna end. Am I right? You got it. Shit. Look, I gotta go. I've got a lot to do. Take Deacon's file and meet me at dawn at the church on the hill. I've kept your staff safely. I hate this shit. Just a pawn in Nettie's master plan. She moves me in mysterious ways. And brother... Sometimes she really does move me. Can't do nothing about it since, nice as you please, she knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. I got nothing left anyways. My fault Luke's dead, and mom and pop too. 
I deserve everything I get. Every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live, can't die. Genside's the perfect trip for me. A nowhere place. The asshole of the universe. Where the hell is that church? <laughs> 